الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن التبع بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد to proceed <coughs> before we begin our main lesson I wanted to uh, respond to your question last week يا نمو الحق which was a very good question regarding the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu an where he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Man Sama Ramadana Imanan Wahtisaban Ghufira lahu Fira lahu Ma Taqaddama Min ذنبه Now what's interesting about this hadith and the reason why you raised the question is because you were trying to understand the gram of it right animal hub I understood the meaning but I couldn't Yes you understood the meaning but I couldn't make the sentence or how did That's right but you couldn't analyze it yeah. from the aspect of al-i'rabu yeah. and the reason being is because or one of the reasons is because of the presence of ghufira yeah. which is a fi'lun madin but it's not like the normal of al madiya yeah. the past tense verbs that we've looked at yeah. and we're going to explain why so to begin therefore men rather before we begin what does it mean in general men sama ramadan whoever fasting ramadan right whoever fasted ramadan ramadan imanan with iman with iman wahtisaban tisaban and with ihtisab. Ihtisab means waiting to receive your reward from Allah Azza wa Jalla in the Akhirah. Ghufira lahu. He will be forgiven. Ma taqaddama. What proceeded min dhanbihi from his sins. Right? That's the meaning of the hadith. So whoever fasted during Ramadan in a state of Iman and Ihtisab, what proceeded from his sins, Ghufiralahu, he will be forgiven. So what therefore is the Iqrab of this hadith? Let's begin with Min. What type of Word is min. Al-Fajr. Sorry, not min. Man. Man. Oh. Right. Is it, man. It's a question word. Not min. It's man. Right. Man is. What type of word? Question. Right. I know why you're saying it's a question. Right. You, you, you're saying it's ismu istifhami, oh, yeah. right? Like in our previous lesson, man fa'ala hadha, right? Who did this? Or, men enter. If I say to you, men enter. Who are you? Right? Is that man this man? The answer is no, it's not the same man. That man that we you are referring to is called Ismu Istifhami. Right? 
Ismu istifhami. We're discussing the i'rab of this hadith that Animal Haq asked about in our previous lesson. Before we go on to our next or the next lesson. So this hadith, Man sama Ramadan iman wa ihtisaban, whoever fasts Ramadan in a state of iman and ihtisab, ghufira lahu ma taqadma min dhambihi, his previous sins will be forgiven. So what is men here? Men that Animal Haq mentioned earlier on, he said it is ismu istifha min that we've discussed before. Ismu istifha min. A ismu istifha min is a noun of querying, meaning it's in order to elicit information. Man enter, who are you? Right? However, this man in the hadith is not ismu istifhamin. Right. What this man is, is ismu sharatin. Ismu sharatin. Ismu sharatin. It's an ism, a noun, to introduce a condition, mm. right? So if you think about it, that's correct, isn't it? Because this hadith, remember, its meaning is mansama Ramadana, whoever fasts Ramadan. Mm. It, it's not asking the question, who? Who, no. who is it? who fasted, it's speaking about a person who does this. Who will do it, yeah. Right? So it's called Ismu Sharatin. Who will fulfill the shart. Right. And so it, 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 it introduces a question. Right? Now, we've spoken about Jumlatu Sharatiyatun before. Right? A Jumla, which is one that comprises of a condition. For a simple example of that is Men Hadara Adarsa Fahima. Men Ismu Sharatin, whoever. Hadara attended a darsa, the lesson, Fahima, he understood. So this is what we call Al Jumla to a sentence that comprises of a condition. Min or man rather is called Ismu Sharatin. It's also called a datu sharatin. It's a tool for, of a question. Yeah. Then we have hadara ad-darsa. Hadara ad-darsa. That is called the jumla to sharat. So that's the jumla or the sentence that relates to the condition. Then we have fahima, which is jawabu sharat. Yeah. Right? So man is our. Ismu Sharat. It's the word that we use to introduce the question mm -hmm. or the condition rather. Hadara Adars is the actual body of the condition attended the lesson. Mm -hmm. Then we have Jawabu Sharati. Jawabu Sharati, which is the response of the to the sharat. What is the response to the sharat? Fahima, he will understand. Right? Now, you will, um, you will see, particularly in, in Al-Quran, many examples of sentences that comprise of men. Right? Like in uh, Surah uh, Zalzala. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ 
ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرٍ يَرَى Right? وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ we, we read it because of the rules of Tajweed وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ But it is actually وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ Whoever يَعْمَلْ performs مثقال ذرة مثقال an amount of an atom's weight خَيْرٍ of good يَرَى he will see it. We see men frequently used. But there are other asma'u sharat or adawatu sharat which are very common too. Like idha, like as in the ayah, idha jaa nasrullahi wal fat, wa ra'ayta nasa yad khaluna fi deeni lahi afwaja, fa sabbih. That's jawab al sharat. If you see, or when you see Amrullah, Ja Amrullah, the command of Allah comes, and you see the people entering into Islam, Afwaja, in groups, Fasabbih, then you praise Bihamdi Rabbik. Right? So, Idha is frequently used too. And then we have In and Lo. So, these, there are others too. These are the most common that introduce a shart or al jumla to shartiya. So, man is ismu shart. But because it is an ismun, remember there are only two types of sentences in Arabic. Yeah. Even though we're referring to this as a a jumla to sharti, a conditional sentence. A conditional sentence is not a third type of mm -hmm. sentence. It must be what? Two of them. Ismiya. Which one is it? Ismiya. Ismiya. Right, good. It therefore must be jumla to lismiya, right? Because man is ismu, it's an ismun. Ismiya. Right? So man is ismu sharatin. So if we're going to analyze it properly in terms of grammar, we say it is ismu sharatin mabniyun mabniyun We're just answering a question that Animal Hawk asked in our last lesson. <coughs> he was trying to understand this hadith. Whoever fasts during Ramadan, Iman and Ihtisab and Ghufir al min dhanbi, his previous sins will be forgiven. No. But it's good because Animal Hawk was trying to understand the Iqrab. No. Right? So, Man ismu sharatin mabaniyun it's mabaniyun. Man is mabaniyun. Mabaniyun ala mother. Upon what? Ala? Ala sakuni. Because there's a sakun there, isn't there? Yeah. Muhammad. Mabaniyun ala sakun. Right. Ala sakuni. Ismu sharatin. Mabaniyun ala sakuni. But man is an ismun, so therefore this sentence is a jumla to and it must therefore be the which part of al jumla to lismiya? Al mubtada'u, and al mubtada'u is always in what state? Marfu'un. So how do we express that man is in the marfu'un state? How do we complete this? Ala sakuni. It's not going to be lafadhi, is it? Because it's mabaniun ala sakun. There's a sakun on it. Right. Fi. Fi mahalli. Fi mahalli. في محل رفع right في محل 
رف إن خبر مبتدأ مبتدأ That is the grammatical analysis of man. You know this, right? You already know all of this. You just need to consolidate it in your own mind. Someone is اسم شرطين مبني على السكون في محل رف إن. It's got to be in محل رف مبتدا أن. Right? It's a مبتدا أن, isn't it? Is that clear? If at any point there's something that's not clear, ask. Just in a jumbled ismi, is it mubtada or and then khabar? Yes, yeah, sure. I thought you asked what the rest of it was, and that's when I said khabar. Or were you asking what? No, I was asking man. All right. Man, right? So is that clear what man is? And don't confuse man here with the question man. Man enter. Man enter. Man and man is ismu istifhamin. It's an ism, a noun that is in order to ask a question. We're not asking a question here. We're introducing a condition. Whoever, if it helps, understand it as that means whoever, not who. Whoever, yeah. If so. Right. So we're not asking who it, who is it, who fasted during Ramadan. Whatever. Like for example, uh, Shabazz entered, and I don't know who he is. So I ask you, Man dakhala al bayta? Man dakhala al bayta? I don't know. So I'm asking the question, Man. Mm. Right? I'm not talking about whoever enters the house, let him sit, for example. Can you see the difference between the two? Mm. Right? And we, as I said, we see man all the time to introduce a condition, which is why it's called ismu sharatin. Sama. What does sama mean? Just, uh, just when you said istifhamin, you know the wow that we did, wow al atfi. Is that is the other one wow al istifhamin? The one that. No, that's istinaf. Istinaf, right? Now. Continuation. Right. So Sama means he fasted. He fasted, right? So it is a fitlon, fitlon, mardin, single, mardin, right? Mabniyun, mabniyun. What's the literal? What's that literal meaning of mabniyun? Fixed, fixed. Ma baniyun ala, ma baniyun ala mada. Fatah, fatah. Right, ala al fathi. Ma baniyun ala al fathi. Sama is fitlun madin that we know. Ma baniyun ala al fathi. Right. So sama is what we call fitlun muattalun. It's a weak or naqis. Fetlon because it has alif in the middle. So Sama is he fasted. She is Samet. I Somtu. Somtu. You Somta. You plural. Somtum. Somtum. You plural female. Somtum. Somtum. They plural male. Somtum. Oh no, this is the easy one, Ya Muhammad. The one that ends with the U. Samu. Qalu. Jalasu. Katabu. That's the easy one. Right? And they, plural, female, is? Same. Sumna. 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 Not. Sumna. Right? So. We have a Sama. Then we have a Ramadana. Ramadana is? Sometimes, you know, when you say, um, when you ask about a verb, you always say something like a Alamatu Rafi'i, something like that. Yes. What's that bit? We don't put that in there, no? 
No, we are going to do it here. Right. But remember, remember that that's a good point. Why do we not talk about alama to here? Because it's fixed. No. That's why we say it's a mabaniyun ala fati, don't we? Right. So here we're going to mention it. Ramadan, right? What is Ramadan here? Mansama Ramadan. It's an ismun, but what, what is it grammatically? It's a Mansama Ramadan. The one that you did it in. It's a roof alidafa. No, no, it'd be Is that sifatun? Is it? I think it's mafulun. Right, it's mafulun bihi. That one's easy. Yeah. Where did you get a dafa from, Muhammad? Well, yes. It's mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi mansubun. Right, it is mansubun. Mansubun. Now we talk about that. Wa alamatu wa alamatu nas nas bihi nas bihi wa alamatu nas bihi ma huwa o ma hiya ma hiya alamatu nas bihi o namasnatu yeah, what's the indicator for being mansub? Al Fatha. Al Fatha. Al Fatha. Al Fatha. Al Fatha. Al Fatha. Al Al Fatha. Al but you know this, no. right, your boss? It's just not put together yet. Yeah, but it will. This, this, this time, inshallah, you will do. It's not complicated, is it? Because all of this you already know. You know it's a mafulun bihi. You know it's a mansubun, and you don't. You know that the alama to nasbihi is al fatha, al fatha, on the end, which is al dahiratu, isn't it? It's apparent, as opposed to. Not apparent. Not apparent. Assumed. assumed. Right? Al Muqaddara to assumed. Ala akhirihi on the ending. ending. On the ending of the word. Right? So, Mansama Ramadana. So far, remember, Man is our Ismu Sharatin. Yeah. So you should be thinking, because we've introduced it with ismu sharatin, we need to have a. Remember, what's the second part of a jumla to sharatiya? The shart. The shart. Yeah. The actual condition. condition. So you should be thinking. Okay, yeah. I know what ismu sharatin. So how much of it now condition. is the actual condition a shart? And then when does that stop and when does it become Jawabu Shart? Yeah. Right? So so far, Sama Ramadana, that's still part of what? Have we have, have we stopped and moved on to Jawabu Shart or we're still in, still in the condition. We're still in the condition, right? Sama Ramadana. Then we have Imanan. What is Imanan? Is, uh, Imanan is right. We know it's an ismun, but what type of ismun is it? What state is it, is it in? Definite. Yeah, Muhammad. It's, that, 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 it's mansubun. Yeah. And remember, whenever you have an ismun which is mansubun, what should it make you start thinking about? Is it mafulun? Some type of maf'ulun, yeah. something connected yeah. with what? With an object, yeah. within the, the bar. With something connected with? What should it make you think about? Something connected. A maf'ulun bihi is connected with what? With the with bar. With the fitlun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So whenever we have an ismun, which is a mansubun, yeah. following 
A verb, it should make you think what? Right, there's some kind of connection back to that verb. And if you think about it, <coughs> In, in relation to its meaning, is it not connected with Sama? What does Iman mean? In Iman or with Iman? Yeah. So which word is it connected to? Man? Man sa sama. sama or Ramadana? Sama. Sama, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Meaning that this action, Sama, the one who did this action, if they did it with Imanan, Right? So even from the meaning, you can deduce that there's some kind of connection between Imanan and Sama. And there is. Why? Because Imanan is Maf'oolun. Not Hali, Muhammad, but at least you tried. Maf'oolun li ajlihi. Ajlihi. Right? Have we not mentioned Mafun on the Ajalihi before? We just be here and fear here though. Well there you go. <laughs> right? Mafunun li ajlihi. Mafulun means the thing done to li ajlihi for its sake. Li ajlihi for its sake. Meaning if I asked you, Limada Sumta Ramadana, yeah. right? Why did you fast in Ramadan? What are you going to say? For the sake of Allah. You're going to say, Imanan, because your Iman dictates that you have to fast. Why? Because of the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu Allah addresses those who amanu They have faith Kutiba alaykum as-siyamu Kutiba alaykum as-siyamu So the reason why you fasted was imanan Right, so we'll give you a simple example of that. Right? Uh, we attended the lesson. How do, how do you say I attended the lesson? <laughs> right. Hadaratu. Hadaratu. Adarsa. So far we have Hadaratu, which is a? Fetlun Mardin, right? Mabinun al Sakuni Ta'u, we have a Ta'u of the Fa'il, yeah. right? Which is me, or oh, the speaker. Hadartu Adarsa, Adarsa is the? The Mafulun Shabazz, the Mafulun Bihi. Wa Alama tu Nasbihi is? Fatha. Al Fatha, right? That bit's easy, Al Fatha. Now, if I want to say, rather, if I, if I was questioned, or well, why did you attend? What was the reason? I want to say, seeking knowledge. Seeking. What is the masdar or the verbal noun? From Talaba. Talaba is he sought. Talibun. Talaban. Right. Talabun. Talabun. Right. So we say Talaban. Lil ilmi. Lil ilmi. Talaban means. Seeking. Remember, every fitlun has a verbal noun that you can extract from it yeah. that gives you the meaning of the action, but it is an ismun, not a fitlun. No. Right? It's called in Arabic al masdaru. Al masdaru. 
Talaban is al Masdaru. Why? Katibun, the writer. No, no, Katibun is Fa'ilun, Ismu Fa'il. Kitabatan is the Masdar of Kataba. So, the, maf the Maf'ulun Ajlihi is always Al Masdaru, it's always an Ismun, which is Al Masdaru. But it's a special type of Al Masdaru. They call it Al Masdaru Al Qalbiyu. Al Qalbi means of the heart. Meaning that this type of Ismun or noun, which becomes Maf'ununi Ajlihi, is always a type of noun that relates to an action of the heart. So seeking is something related to the heart. Right? Um, so, th this is this example clear? Hadartu adarsa, I attended the dars. If I was to be questioned, why did you attend? I would say, talaban lil ilmi. Talaban is a mafunun ajalihi, it's a mansubun. Right? And the indicator, alamatu nasbihi, is tanwinu fathid. Right? Lil ilmi, that's jarun wal majroor. Now, as I said, there are a, a number of different types of uh, al-masdar that represent states of the heart. For example, for example, if you say, I fled, I fled from the criminal, right? How do, how do we say I fled? Haraba, remember? Haraba. Harabtu. Harabtu. Me from the criminal. Minal mujrimi. Mujrimi. Right? Harabtu minal mujrimi. I fled from the criminal. Why? Why? What what could you say is a possible response? Save myself. Khawfan. What does khawfan mean? Yeah. Fearing. Yeah. Fearing. From khafa. Yeah. Khafa. Khawfan. Khawfan. Min. Zulmihi. Zulmihi. Harabtu min al mujrimi. Khawfan. Fearing min from Zulmihi. What does Zulmihi mean? Zulm. Sorry? Zulm. His oppression. Zulm. But notice that Khawfan. It's like Taliban, isn't it? It's an action of the heart. Right? Other ones are Raghbatan, uh, desiring. Rahbatan, fearing. And there are a number of others. Right? So whenever we have an Ismun, which qualifies as Maf'umun li ajlihi, it is going to be what state? Mansubun, like here. Imanan. So we say it's mafulun li ajlihi. So is imanan a masdar? It's, it's yes. the root of the verb. Yes. What's the verb that's, that's come from? Amana. 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 He believed. That's why um, frequently when you have in Al Quran, Inna ladina amanu. Amanu is they plural. Amanu. Right? So we have maf'ulun li ajlihi. Mansubun. Mm -hmm. 
منصوب وعلامة يا شباز علامة نصبه right is yeah but this time what is yeah it is a fatha but it is تنوين فتح isn't it وعلامة نصبه تن وين فتح right so we've done من صام رمضان إيمانا then we have what the easy bit what is what يا محمد right what is حرف أطف حرف أطف which means what it's a connection it's a connection so what's it going to connect the previous words so that's how much it's um, it's state right it's going to connect احتسابن with إيمانا and does it connect it in Iqrab? No. You can see it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is uh, mansubun, yeah. And it also shares the hukam, the ruling. Meaning it is also Al-Masdu' Mafunu Ni Ajalihi, isn't it? Right? So we say that here Ihtisaban is eh, Tisaban. This is what do we? How do we describe it specifically? It's ma'tufun. It's ma'tufun. Ala. Ma'tufun ala. Mansu bin. Remember. Mansu bin, right? Which is imanan in brackets. Imanan, imanan, which is the matufun alayhi. Remember that with haruful ataf you have. The harfu atfin, which is wo, you have the word that follows it, which is the ma'tufun, and then the word that preceded it, which is ma'tufun alayhi. Mm. Right? The one connected to it. So this is connected back to imanan. So now we've discussed it up to wahtisaban. Man sama ramadanan imanan wahtisaban. So have we, up to this point... What does that mean? Oh, sorry. Ihtisaban means... It has a very specific meaning, ihtisaban. It means being patient... To receive your reward from Allah Azza wa on Yawm al -Qiyam. That's the specific meaning. It doesn't just mean to be patient. It means to be patient, waiting to receive your reward. Right? Which is why it's frequently said when somebody dies, because that's when it's required in, in, in uh, greater than in any other circumstance, usually for people, because they have to control their heart, their tongue and their limbs from doing anything that negates ihtisab. Right? So up to this point now, have we completed our sharat? Yeah. We have, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, Muhammad. Uh, <coughs> can you just uh, translate the remaining part of the hadith, please? lahu, <laughs> he will be forgiven for him. Ma taqaddama, what preceded min dhambihi from his sin. Yeah. yeah. What? 
That's right. Yeah. Good. Right. So up to Wahtisaban, yeah. we have our Asharatu. So we started off with Ismu Sharatin, which is man. Mm. Then we have our Sharatu, Sama Ramadan, Iman, Wahtisaban. Now what remains, therefore, is the Jawab al Sharat. But this is why it becomes interesting because this is what confused Anna Muhaq. We have Ghufira. Ghufira. So before we continue, are we okay to erase this? Everybody yeah. understands it, right? So what does Ghufira mean? He will be forgiven. What type of word is Ghufira? Right. Good, Yana Mulhaq. Ghufira is Ghufira is Fetlun. Mardin Fetlon Mardin Right Mabniyun Mabniyun Lil Majhuli Lil Maj Huli. Right. So, what does that mean? Lil Majhuli. We'll, go, we'll, we'll mention a, an easier example first, one that you're familiar with, the ayah that we've already mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah. Ya ayyuhaladina amanu. Kutiba. 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 Alaykum. Asiyamu Kutiba alaykum asiyamu which means fasting Kutiba has been written alaykum for you for you what right Kutiba we normally use Kutiba to mean he wrote or Kataba to mean he wrote Ketaba doesn't just mean he wrote, it also means he prescribed, he legislated, legislated yeah. made something obligatory. Yeah. Right, Muhammad? Okay, but what do we notice here about Kutiba? Shabahas. That's again the same. The it must be something else because it's not something that we recognize from previous. No, but what do you notice about the voweling on Kutiba? It's the same as Gufira. It's the same as Gufira. But it is not Kataba, is it? Yeah. It's not Kataba. The I'm first not. letter has a Dhamma and the middle letter yes. has a Kasra. But the Kataba is a normal Mahdi and that's the Mahdi in Majhul. Right. Now, in English, it's a difference between the active and the passive voice, right? Which makes less sense in, uh, than in Arabic. Why? Because in Arabic, it's called Mabaniyun Lil Majhuli. Lil Majhul. Majhul means unknown. unknown. What is it about the fitlun which is unknown? Think about it. The, the, the ayah, this portion of the ayah means that fasting has been prescribed for you. So which bit of it is it that's unknown? Who prescribed it? Right. Who it is who prescribed it. Yeah. Now we know it is Allah Azza wa Jalla. We know yeah. that. Yeah. But in terms of the grammar, we don't know. it's not known. Allah Allah. Right? It is not known. So, to illustrate, if we wanted to rewrite in our own words the meaning of that ayah, how would we do it? 
using kataba, using the, the normal fi'l on madin. He Allah prescribed. Right, so we've got kataba then. Kataba Allahu. Alaykum. I like that, Muhammad. Asiya ma. Good. Kataba Allahu alaykum asiyama. So here we've got a normal fitl al madin, mabniun ala fati. We have Allahu lafz al jalala, which is the fa'ilun, which is marfu'un, wa lamatu rafihi, al dammah. Alaykum, that's harfu jar. It's an idafa, harfu jar, and the minu mutasilun, for you. But Allah, it accompanies kataba, right? Then we have as-siyama. As-siyama means the, the, the fasting. Okay. But what is it as-siyama here? Mafulun. The mafulun bihi, which is mansubun. And the indicator for being mansubun is the fatha, right? Everybody understands that. Yeah, that's yeah. Now, can you see the difference in Kitab Allahu Alaykum as and Kutib Alaykum as yeah. Right? Now, what's interesting is, we, as we said, that we change in order to make a normal Fitlun Mardi into a fitl al madi mabniun lil majhuli there's two simple rules two simple rules muhammad yes stay awake ya muhammad <laughs> right <coughs> two simple rules the first is that the first letter in the fitl becomes Madumum with a Dhamma Not Madhun It becomes Madumum with a Dhamma Right? Cool Name The other rule is Is that The letter before the last one The letter before the last one becomes Maqsoor but I said the letter before the last one because you can have four or five. Yes, because you can have four letter verbs Verbing. and five letter right. verbs. Right. So you, you're probably wondering why don't I just say the middle one? Be yeah. Because that rule, and that's the one before the end applies to all verbs. Yeah. Right, Shabazz. So we've gone from kataba to kutiba. But because it's now mabaniyun lil majhul, Allahu Azza wa Jalla has to be removed. Now is the interesting bit. You cannot now say that asiyama. Right, let me rephrase that. In order for a jumna tul fi'liya to be complete and correct it must comprise of two things the fi'lun and the fa'ilun it must do yeah. right we can dispense with the mafulun bihi can't we no. but we can't with the fi'lun and the fa'ilun so we've got our fi'lun but it's been stripped of the fa'ilun so what assumes the position of the fa'ilun. Most obviously that. Right. As-siyama, the mafunun bihi, occupies the position of the fa'ilun and it becomes marfu'un. Right, Ya Shabazz. And that has a special name. We call it the na-i-bu- Al-Fa'ilu Al-Fa'ili rather because it's in it Na'ibul Fa'ili What does Na'ibul Fa'ili mean? 
Na'ibun means a deputy. A deputy of the fa'il. It makes sense, right? Because it's deputizing the fa'il. Because the fa'il isn't there. So it's taking its position. So it's easy enough with three letter verbs, how we change it. Right. What does it happen with you know the weak verbs that we've talked about before, like ja and stuff like that? Right. Well, we'll mention an example that you'll be familiar with. Qala. He said, Qala, he said. How, you, you will have heard this. How do we say it was said? Or he was said, not that that makes sense, but it was said. You, you will have heard this. Qila. Qila. You've heard of Qila, right? Um, I don't know. Is yeah. it in the Quran somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Qila. You know, you've heard the, the phrase Qila wa qal. Qila wa qal. So, note how we went from Qala to Qila. So, Sama to Sima. Sima. Right? It's not that complicated, really. So, back to the point here. Is it clear up to Na'ibul Fa'il that Asiyam has become Na'ibul Fa'il? Now, you're probably wondering so, where is the Na'ibul Fa'il? But you need to watch out for it. Can we erase this? So, so where are we now? In our in our analysis, Ghufira. So we know that Ghufira, Fitlun Mardin, Mabaniyun Lil Majhuli. Ordinarily, the verb would be Ghafara. Ghafara is the verb. Right? Ghafara. Muhammad. But it's become Ghufira. Yeah. Then we have Lahu. This is nice and simple. Yeah, that's, 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 that's. Lahu is Lam is <coughs> So we say Jarun Wa Majrurun. <coughs> Right? Ma, now. Ma. What is Ma here? It is Ismu Mausulin. Ismu Mausulin. It's like Alladhi Alladhi Right? We know Alladhi and Allati and Alladhina and so on and so forth. That is a type of Ismu Mawsulin and Ma is two. Right? right? So, a simple example with a Ma. Well, Ma does other jobs as well, negates and... Yes, but here, here, it's Ismu Mawsulin. Yeah, that's important that don't confuse it with uh, Ismu Stifhamin, asking what something is. This is, you're not asking what here, like Mahada, what is this? You're connecting what comes before Ma with what comes after it. So what is it that it's connecting? What comes before Ma which is important? Ghufira lahu. Ghufira lahu. Forgiving for him. What is it about this individual that's going to be forgiven for him? Right? Ma what? Right? This sounds like a question. No, no, it, it, it's like saying, for example, well, let's think of a nice simple example that illustrates a ma here. Uh, ma qulta, ma qulta huwa al-haqqu. 
ma qulta, what you said, huwa al haqqu it is the truth. Right? Or you can say, ma akaltu, ahbabtuhu. Ma akaltu, what I ate, ahbabtuhu, I liked it. I'm not asking a question there. Mm. I'm stating a fact. Mm. Right? Ma darasta yanfa'uka. Ma darasta yanfa'uka. What you studied yanfa'uka will benefit you. Mm. Right? Not what did you study, mm. but what you did study. Right? That is called ismu mausulin. Because we're connecting now ghufira lahu with taqaddama. So whatever it is that taqaddama preceded min dhanbihi from his sins. So whatever preceded from his sins, ghufira lahu, he will be forgiven. Right? So, ma here is the ismu mausulin, but it is also the na'ibul fa'il. Na'ibul fa'ili. Remember, we said. Deputize with the fa'il. Yes. Remember, we said that ghufira, it's mabaniyun lila majhuli. So we need to look for what? We need to look for the na'ibul fa'il. Right? And the na'ibul fa'il is this, this ma, which is in ismu mausulun. So it's like saying, What you did will be forgiven. Will be forgiven. Yeah. Right? So whatever that what represents is irrelevant. Can you see that? It's irrelevant to the actual uh, mas'ala here because that represents anything. Yeah. And therefore that is the Na'ibul Fa'il. Taqaddama min dhambihi. Taqaddama. He or it proceeded. What type of word is Taqaddama? Fi'lun Madi. Fi'lun Madi. Fi'lun. Madin. Mabaniyun Mabaniyun ala Ala al-Fathi Then we have Min is Harfu Jarrin Harfu Jarrin And we have Dhanbihi Min Dhanbihi Dhanbihi What is Dhanbihi? He the Dhanbihi uh, Dhanbiz Min Dhanbi he, he's the, he's the Dhanbi is the ismu majrurin, yeah. isn't it? It's a noun that follows min, which is majrurun. So dhanb, dhanbihi, then dhanb is here. It is the ismu majrurin. And he is 
دمير متصل دمير متصل متصل في محل جر why is it في محل جر why is it في محل جر because ذنبه is an idafa right yeah. and therefore the he must be what في محل جر so that is the i'rab of that hadith man sama ramadan should have mentioned of course that ramadan is mamnu min as never changes it mamnu min as so it doesn't take tanween and it doesn't become majrurun except or unless what it's the mudafun in an idafa it's never going to take al it's never going to take al but if it's a mudafun in an idafa it can become majrur with a kasra lahu you say the jarru which i understood about allah wa majrurun yeah uh, I thought, who is the same as the he that we have here? So. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's another way. It's just another way. Uh, sorry if that confused you, but it's just another way that the grammarians use to describe a harfu jar followed by an ismun. That's all it is. They say jarun wa majrurun. So is that also an idafa construct? Yes, that's also an idafa. So we have two different ways of uh, speaking about an idafa, uh, one that comprises of a harfu jar first, or here second. He, Right. So when when it, it, the you have an idafa that comprises of harfu jar first, they say jarun wa majrur. Right. But of course, you could you say that who here is what? What is who here? This is the mir. The miru mutasilun, right? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, it's the miru mutasilun. Fi mahalli jarin, isn't it? Who is fi mahalli jarin? Right, ya shabaz. It must be fi mahalli jarin because it's pr followed by a harfu jar. Yeah. Right? No, no, you know this, <coughs> don't you? It's simple. It's like, you know, fi fika or alika. Fi yeah. and ala. Yeah. Both har uh, min huruf al jari, then we have a damir and mutasilun. Mm. It's the same principle, mm. right? That cut here, but it's also, an, um, yeah, it, it's harfu jar. It's a, it's a, that is a harfu jar, yeah. and that's a damir and mutasilun. Yeah. That's why it's called jar and majrur. That's not an idafa. If if I said that at some point, that's not that's not correct. That is not an idafa. This is than bihi. That is an idafa. That's easily spotable. That that's a than bihi. That is an idafa. I understand yeah. because I understand that idafa rules. But how? So did you say lahu is an idafa as well? No, no, no. Right. Lahu isn't. Yeah. No, that is just a harfu jar, and damiru mutasilu. Okay, so when they like that, same as fika alaika, they're actually when they like that in a bubble like that, they're called jarun. Jarun wa majrurun, yes. Okay. All right? Yeah. Sorry if sometimes it's um when you do it quickly particularly it can get confusing. Right. <clears throat> Is that clear? 